For the next two weeks, we're putting ourselves through a martial arts training camp. More specifically, Muay Thai here in Thailand. We've never done anything like this before, and it's going to be one of the hardest things we've ever done. You hit me square in the nose, right there. We are in Punchit Gym in Lamai in Koh Samui, and we're going to be doing 14 days of training twice a day, and there's a run in the morning as well. And that's only just the warm up. This is gonna be intense. We're not in bad shape by any means. We try to go to the gym as often as we can, but this is gonna be something else. We'll pop some videos on the screen of what we look like right now, just in case we see some epic transformations or some smaller changes. It's just easier to spot them when you got a before and after video. Really, all I'm hoping for is getting a bit faster at my runs, as well as just stronger in general. And I'm hoping to, I don't know, I want to get more ripped, but also I want to just become better at Muay Thai. I've done two lessons like ages ago. One was like four months ago and one was about five years ago. I want to actually do this properly now. Hopefully get as ripped as some of these Muay Thai fights as we've seen here. So make sure you stick to the end of the video to see how our bodies will change, if there'll be any. Hopefully there will be. You make me nervous. How do you feel? I feel fine. Yeah. I haven't run in a while, so... Last time I tried to run, I did 10 minutes, and I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> Hopefully my legs don't cramp up, but it should be okay. Okay. <laughs> How are your legs? Okay so far. Yeah. <laughs> little stiff little bricks. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> that was actually so hard. <laughs> That's just a warm up. <laughs> I'm so sweaty already. <laughs> Like we would come in right in the middle of like doing clenching, so but I think this evening session is like a beginner session. So. Just been doing about six minutes of kicking, punching, knee, elbowing. I thought at the beginning this was going to be easy, but I should feel a bit sick now. I really didn't think that I'd have to go in the ring with one of the young trainers. I've never boxed in my life and this guy was hitting me properly hard in the face everywhere. But I don't think I did a really bad job. And he actually said I, I was an okay boxer, so I'm happy with that. I've never boxed in my life. He hit me square in the nose, right there. I'm always worried that I'm gonna knock out my front teeth because I've not got a gum shield obviously. And I've chipped some teeth before, falling over, so... That's the second time I've done that today and it does not get easier. And it's not even that hot anymore, I'm absolutely dripping. See there? That's meant to be a bright red. I'm absolutely drenched. The guy gets tired, man. Woo! And one, two, So 
This is probably a lot sweater, sweatier than you're used to seeing us. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a heavy duty day. It's very hard. <laughs> it's, it's... We've said that a few times today, but it actually is genuinely very hard. The technique is extremely difficult in itself, and then it also requires a lot of mental and physical fitness, out of which we have a, a bit. A bit. But this is the first day, so <laughs> yeah. it could be regretting what we're saying right now. It but might get harder, it might get easier. <laughs> Let's see how we are tomorrow morning because I'm sure we'll be properly aching. Oh, my calves are dead already. Already. <laughs> it's gonna be a week. Well done. Well done. Just had my hands wrapped. Well, just before we started shadow boxing. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. The professional did this one. I did this one. Super tight. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't lose my fingers. We've had our run this morning. We we'll skipped for five minutes, wrapped up, and now we're just doing some shadow boxing, which I didn't like on the first day. But now that I know that what I'm doing a little bit more, I'm kind of getting into it. On day two, we started sparring again, and I was sparring with this guy. Really nice guy. We were punching quite light, but this punch here connected right on the back of my jaw, and my wisdom tooth cracked and came off in a few pieces. But it didn't hurt, and I already booked a dentist, so I got straight back into training, and then the next day, I bought a gum shield. We've recently just come back from our fifth session at the gym. It is now day three and we're pretty much halfway through this week. We've had our nap, two hours. <laughs> We've been taking naps every day because we're so tired, but we thought this was a good opportunity to show you where we have been staying and where we're gonna be staying for the next two weeks whilst we're training. This place is one of the many places that they actually have on offer sort of through the gym. Um, they do have one that's right across the street from the gym, but it was fully booked when we wanted to book it. So we ended up with this one, which is actually just about 400 meters down the road. So on our scooter, it's like one minute and we're at the gym. So that's pretty good. It's a nice basic kind of room, but actually it has everything that you would need because all you're doing really here is sleeping. There's a big bed, very Thai style. I mean, I should show you, maybe I can show you. <laughs> it's a little bit on the firmer side. Not that many windows. A couple of two little slits here. There is a fun window here that just goes out into the hallway. So um, we keep this one closed. <laughs> Huge TV that we don't really watch, partially because we're so tired whenever we get home. All we seem to be doing is eating or sleeping or training, but also it mainly has Christian channels and Thai channels, but like Christian TV, all of our tech, our closet space, which is basically just all of our sweaty clothes kept in one place. There's a bathroom, pretty basic, but good. Good toilet, shower, clean. We're showering like five billion times a day, it feels like now. What we also didn't realize is that it came with a kitchen, which would be nice if we had a lot more energy and a lot more time. We probably would be cooking a little bit more, but at the moment, it's kind of just eating out and all of the protein, which is here. <laughs> we really committed to this. We got protein bars, we got protein shakes. We've got everything that we would need to grow huge. <laughs> One of the many things that we're doing whilst we're training here twice a day is that we're pretty much cutting out coffee. We thought this is a good time to just get fit and healthy and not rely on anything for energy. So that's probably why we're taking so many naps. <laughs> anyway, we've got Dylan's super mega uh, protein powder. Like mass one, gainer. 1,000 calories per serving. <laughs> if you guys saw our Instagram story, um, probably last week now, there was a before and after of Dylan's passport photos and he went from very slim to very healthy looking. So hopefully this will keep that process going. Got some vegan protein, a little bit neater for the lady. Peanut 
butter powder to put in there to make it taste really good and actually it's really nice. We're also having one of these today, which is, the reason we bought it, it is a little bit on the stodgy side, I should say, but it's 45 grams of protein in one of these and we have one of these a day each. So the price of this place is 20,300 baht for 14 days, but considering that the actual training itself is 4,300 baht per person, this is an absolute steal for two weeks and it's so close to the gym as well. This hotel also has a really nice pool down the bottom and there's loads of places that you can chill out as well. We're just heading out for some lunch now to fuel up for our evening session. We're still trying to do twice a day. We haven't missed Ooh. any yet. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh yeah, there's, lo there's loads to choose from. We're finally gonna get some shorts today. <laughs> okay. I like these ones, I have to say, right? They look legit. Like if I wore these, you wouldn't wanna mess with me. <laughs> we got the punch it on there. One of the reasons that we want these shorts is because we feel like we've finally earned them, but also we're sweating so much that basically what we've been wearing has been wet sort of 24 seven. We're washing like three times a week, but you can't wash it enough. It's always smelly and <laughs> we need more shorts basically. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna go for the same ones. So these really cool white and gold ones. It seems like most people are wearing these ones, so. And they look, they look comfortable. They feel like silky. So <laughs> this is day four now. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be gym session or eight. training session eight. Yeah. We've not missed a single one. No, not We've yet. We deserve this. Yeah, we definitely deserve this. Okay, should right, we get these? Go. Yeah. So this is our ninth session in a row. As you can tell, we're very sweaty. We're just doing some sparring right now and they've just paired me up with Dylan, which is obviously a bit of a height difference, but it's quite fun as well. I know he's not gonna punch my teeth out. <laughs> yeah, it's getting harder, but it's also kind of getting easier at the same time. What do you say? It's getting harder, but it's also getting easier. Oh yeah, Gotta somehow. Beat her up now. Yeah, <laughs> I said you won't knock my teeth out. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> I'm so much today, even in these new shorts. It's just drifting off me. Could you look more pro with the shorts on? Yeah, I don't want anyone to think I'm really good though, because I'm really not. <laughs> don't want to lose another tooth. So during these training sessions, I've been getting loads of headaches, I've been feeling really ill after the workouts and I thought 
this is not normal. Like, I'm quite fit. This shouldn't be happening. So a couple of days ago, we, we kind of said to ourselves, we're not going to be buying um, coffee or sodas or anything like that. But because of that, we forgot, we completely forgot to buy, you know, like electrolytes, things that you actually need for um, your body during exercise, especially in a hot place when you're sweating so much. And we had one of these yesterday. And as soon as we had one, we felt fantastic. Uh, so now we've just bought 12, well, we are going to buy 12 of these um, and two huge bottles of coconut water because uh, this is really good for that as well. Since Dylan mentioned it, we've actually seen the trainers drinking like a couple of these a day, like specifically this one. It's only 10 baht for one bottle as well. So we've got a few of these. We can do this. <laughs> it's finally Saturday and that means a day off for us. Every Saturday, the gym is closed, so we get a day off. But that doesn't mean that we don't keep sticking to our sort of protein and healthy eating. So first off, to start the day, we're gonna have a protein shake. Since it's our first day off, we actually have time today to do some of the things that we want to do. <laughs> Normally we're too tired or we're actually busy or we're asleep or eating. <laughs> so <laughs> today we're gonna let the protein shakes settle and then we're actually going for a massage, which I'm super excited about because we are both aching. And typical today, I've woken up with a really stiff neck that goes all the way back like to the middle of my back as well. It, feels like I've had some sort of whiplash. We did some sort of uh, training yesterday where we were being thrown on the floor, so it could be a delayed reaction to that, but hopefully the massage will sort that out. Yeah. But it feels more sort of in my bones and in my neck rather than a muscle, so we'll see. Maybe I just need to walk around a bit and I'll be okay. Yeah. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Tired. I like this one. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Good. Well, she was massaging my calves. Oh, they were singing. It was perfect. <laughs> my neck, my back is still hurting, but I think I figured out why. We were doing sit-ups yesterday, but they were slamming the pad on their abs 50 times. And towards the end, I was just pulling my neck up, pulling my neck yeah. up. I'm just in there now. When I sat up, I felt the exact same pain. So hopefully it'll be fixed by tomorrow, but, <laughs> but we'll nice, see. Nice stretch, nice massage. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, I feel much better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're currently sat in a place called Pure Vegan Heaven and we've been here a couple of times before. It's really, really delicious. I always get the smoothie bowl <laughs> because it's so yummy and the peanut butter on top is just oh, delicious. Dylan's got a burrito. Breakfast burrito. A breakfast burrito. And as you can imagine, this place is vegan. So we're still keeping on that healthy food whilst we're training, even though it's a day off. Probably the best vegan thing I've ever had. <laughs> really. Really yeah, it, I tried it. It smells and it tastes the, amazing. The rice is perfect. It's, perfect. it's awesome. so good. You definitely need to be recovering right now. Yeah. <laughs> this training session of this last week has been really, really hard. I mean, the last, the first four days were extremely hard. We forgot to take our bloody electrolytes. Like, honestly, stupid. I don't think I've ever slept so much and been so tired at the mm. same time. Like, yeah. we were sleeping nine hours a night two hour naps a day and still like exhausted. Yeah, but we've been discussing it and we think, we used to think that sort of drinking electrolytes and like, you know, like Powerade, Gatorade, that kind of drinks. We used to think it was just to have an extra boost, not that it was 
like necessary. Like, yeah, necessary for like <laughs> human um, survival. My calves are aching. Yeah. My shoulders are aching. My back, my neck. I actually yeah. think I'm 50-50 whether I'm gonna do it tomorrow, just because I've I've hurt my neck before. I've taken ibuprofen. I'm taking protein, so hopefully, and a massage, so hopefully that'll do some help. It is really difficult to film whilst we're actually in training, not only because we've got gloves on, but we're so exhausted and so sweaty. <laughs> the camera just becomes a bit of a difficult add-on. So, what you might not be seeing is that every single morning session starts with a sort of 15-minute run. Then we go straight into five minutes of skipping and the ropes are like weighted. So it's it's really difficult. Um, on after that, it's press-ups, then it's sit-ups, then we do yeah squats, then we do hand wraps and we do some shadow boxing. And usually that's when you kind of get a one-on-one -on -one with some of the trainers as well to make sure your form is all good. And then every day there's like a different technique. So sometimes it'll be, what's it called, grappling? Grappling? Clenching. Clenching. Yeah. Yeah, clenching, so. whatever. When you grab each other <laughs> and like trying to throw people to the floor or sometimes it's elbows, sometimes it's knees. Obviously as complete beginners, it's really interesting to kind of touch on loads of different techniques yeah. that are- Quite advanced. They're very advanced, but also there's a lot of oversight from the trainer. So it is still quite good to do. And I've felt that as days go on, we've been there for like four or five days now, mm -hmm. the trainers are actually like, you know, telling us to do this form properly because on the first yeah. few days, you know, they just like just do it, just to get the fitness up. But now they're like, no, twist your foot that much, twist your yeah. foot that much. Yeah, so yeah, like, put your hips this way, put your hips that way, which obviously makes things a lot more difficult. But then after all of that technique, we usually then have sparring with somebody else. Sometimes they pair with me, Dylan, uh, which is <laughs> quite difficult because his reach is a lot further than mine. Then we do pad work with the trainers. That's the hardest part for me, the pads. Yeah, the pad work. Yeah, yeah because they, they don't yell at you, but they're like, no, come on, like you can do this. And you're like, oh, I, you're dripping in sweat. You can't see, there's sweat everywhere. <laughs> Even though all of these different things on their own might not be too difficult for somebody that has a regular level of fitness, once you're two hours in, <laughs> It is insane. Then you get to go home, have a nap, eat, chill for a few hours, and then you're back in for another hour and a half. It is. It takes it out of you. I mean, we're com complete beginners at Muay Thai, um, so it's very, very difficult. Just because our, I don't think our fitness up to par. Um, three and a half hours of any exercise. Is yeah. Insane. I mean, even if it was just like three and a half hours of walking, of walking it would be like, wow, that's quite time consuming and like difficult. So it's a challenge. Get your electrolytes in. Yeah, get your electrolytes If you're going to do it. <laughs> oh. Let's cheers. Enjoy the, I'm not going to cheers with that. Cheers. <laughs> So it is now day seven and everyone's just gone for a run but I've decided to take today off because it's not worth risking um, this neck pain. I've done it before so I don't want to make it any worse just in case there's some weakness there um, but I'll try and join back as soon as possible maybe tomorrow we'll see but for today it's a rest day for me. So, how was your first day without me? I mean, it was easier than I thought because I was really, really nervous this morning. I was like, oh, we can just stay in bed. You're injured. I'm tired. Let's just stay in bed. But I think once you actually start, it's okay. Like, once the run was happening, there's a lot of new pe people here today as well. Oh, you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> My words are all over the place. My neck is getting better. So. Yeah? I'm hopefully going to be back tomorrow. Really? Hopefully. This afternoon? 
we'll see about this <laughs> afternoon. No, not 100%. Don't wanna, don't wanna push it, you know? No, of course. No. We are finally on our last day of training. Now, I have to be super honest with you guys. I did pull out of, I think, two and a half days of sessions just because my neck was so bad. I really had to. Adriana has not missed a single <laughs> session. Fair play. Well done. Thank you. This it's is the been last one. super intense. I'm actually really excited that it's the last one. I oh. will miss it. But yeah. I'm quite looking it's forward very to very enjoyable. Some yeah. Like once you get into it, it's super enjoyable. But yeah. I can't wait to get back to my own routine mm -hmm. and not have, not having to do something in the morning and in the night. I know it takes up so much of your time, but let's smash this last session, yeah? Yeah. Well, let's do it. So we've just finished our last session of Muay Thai. I was gonna say maybe ever, but I don't know, we might do it again. It was but definitely one of the easiest ones. I think they just get easier as we... <laughs> so there's a kids class on in the evenings as well, sort of at the same time. <laughs> and a really cute kid just came up. Anyway, it's kind of bittersweet. I am... Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna really miss like the camaraderie of the classes. We haven't actually looked at the um, before photos of the yeah. videos, so I'll be excited to see those and I'll show you that in tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yeah, once we're gonna we've settled, check in. Yeah. And I'll sleep. I think there's gonna be some di big differences though. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Cheers. That's how it <laughs> It's the day after now and we totally finished and we are on Lamai Beach actually just chilling. Got a fruit smoothie. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's all over my chin. <laughs> Before we say anything else, we just want to say a huge thank you to all the trainers at Puncher Gym. They've been so welcoming, so kind, and just really, really talented. You can tell that they really love their sport. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the before and after transformation. We'll pop them on the screen now. We did take some shots this morning at the mm -hmm. exact same time as we did two weeks ago. In the exact same outfits. Exact same outfits, everything exactly the same. And we can definitely see some changes. Yeah, and not even some changes, like throughout the week, or the weeks, we've seen changes sort of gradually, but yeah. really comparing day one and two weeks later has been really, really cool. I didn't yeah. think that I would feel and look this different. Normally, at this point of the video, I would recommend a specific video for you guys to watch, but because we've never done anything like this before, we don't have any similar videos. So I'm gonna let YouTube do its little thing and we'll pop a video here that's gonna be good for you.